Hi there, this is Kingsley. So this is the Samsung Galaxy A52. Well, technically, because this one had an accident and um, the phone split in half. So they brought it for me to see if it can be revived. Now, what happened to this phone? Uh, I, I was told that somebody else that is very fat sat on the phone while the phone was on the bed or was on the back pocket. I don't really know what the story is, but the phone split in half or it broke in the middle and it's not coming on anymore. So they want to know if I can get the phone fixed. And honestly, I don't know if this phone can be fixed because you might not really see it on camera, but it's really bad. Almost everything is shaking. The phone has broken in half. I don't know what the extent of the damage inside is. And the only thing I can see here right now that is still good is probably the back cover, which I don't know if it will fit on another frame. So first of all, we want to find out, can this phone be fixed? Because as I said earlier on, this phone looks really bad. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, so we have to keep our fingers crossed. Then secondly, how much will it cost to fix this phone? Like, how much am I going to spend on all the parts that are probably damaged inside before this phone is going to be fixed? So first of all, we're going to need to identify all the damaged and broken parts so that we're going to know where to start from. Obviously, the screen is totally damaged and the frame of the phone is also broken. So we're going to need to um, replace the screen then we're going to open the phone down and go inside and let's try to identify if there are other components inside that are bad too. So thinking of this back cover, this is the earpiece that acts as the second speaker. This looks fine, no damage here. But first thing I noticed was that this flex right here is the flex that connects the sub board and the display to the main board of the device. Um, for whatever reason, the points where it clips to the sub board and clips to the display and also clips to the main board, they are all damaged. So this flex is totally gone. It will need to be replaced. The battery is still okay. It only flexed a little bit and I've been able to strengthen it back. It doesn't have any punctures, so the battery is still fine. The SIM tray is still in one piece, it's not broken, so it's still usable. One reason why this phone might still work again is because the main board is totally untouched. I have checked it, it did not bend, it did not flex anywhere, all the components are still sitting in one place. But that is still not a guarantee that it will work, so let's keep going. I noticed that the clip on the sub board is also damaged. This clip is where the flex connects this sub board to the main board of the device so that the device can have network um, stuff like the earpiece the fingerprint reader will work because the sub board controls all these components so the sub board will also need to be replaced so as it stands we need to get a new display a new frame a new sub board and the new network cable Right now, I'm currently heading to one of the largest GSM markets in the city. Let me see if I can get all the components or all the parts I need in this market. The thing is, if you come to markets like this, you have to be a little bit careful so you don't get duped or you don't get scammed. But luckily for me, I know a lot about this market because I have worked here before and I know a lot of the people that work here. Even though most of them are new, but I still know the old ones, so... Um, I can navigate here freely, but even at that, I'm still a bit careful. So I hooked up with an old friend whom we used to work here together, and he said he knows somebody that has the parts that I need. So we're heading to that person's um, shop right now to go and see what he has. So we arrived here and met this guy. It turned out that he himself didn't have what we were looking for. He knew somebody that had a broken down A52 that we could use for parts so he called the person and the person said the phone had been sold coincidentally i knew the person so we had to go to the person's shop and the guy said he had truly sold the phone then we met this other guy that had an a51 and said 
that the flex cables were the same. Only for us to go to his shop and he opened the A51 he had. I checked it, the flex cables were not the same. So we had to move on from there. So from there we went to this guy's shop who basically sells only scraps. Like he sells phones that you can use for parts. And he too didn't have the parts for the A52. After spending three hours looking for all the parts, eventually I couldn't find any. Seemed like the A52, the parts were scarce or were not really available in the market. So I had to um, leave the market as soon as it started raining and headed back to my office. The next morning, the weather was good, so I continued my search. I went to a different GSM market this time. This particular market is where you have the um, care centers for almost all the brands. Techno, Infinix, Vivo, they all reside in these big plazas you see. So I put a call through to a couple of my guys I knew at the Samsung Point, and they were willing to help, but they didn't want to appear on camera, so I just went in there and they were able to hook me up with all the parts I needed. I got the screen, I got the flex cable, I got the sub board, and I got the network cable too. So I headed back to the office to go and assemble the phone and see if it will work with all the parts I got. So this is the display I got. This display comes with the frame already, and it has some um, parts built into the frame already, like the volume keys and the power button. It's important when you are fixing a phone like this that you use 100% original parts because if you don't use original parts, the phone will work but you won't enjoy the phone like you're supposed to enjoy it. One of the ways we are going to know if this display is original is for the in-display fingerprint reader to work because if it's not an original display, that in-display fingerprint reader is going to find it difficult um, capturing your fingerprint from the glass. After assembling the phone, this is the moment of truth and miraculously the phone actually came on and the other fear I had was will the phone boot up to the desktop. It eventually booted and everything was working fine but there was a problem. The cameras won't work. If I tried to take pictures, all I saw on the camera app was error. I had to remove the camera and clip them again afresh so I tested them again and this time all the camera lenses were responding accordingly. Then I put the two SIM cards inside the phone to see if the phone will still be able to receive network signal. And it was working, both 4G, 3G and all the network bands were still intact. Finally, it was time to test the fingerprint reader the in-display fingerprint reader and that one too was actually working 100% and that is because this display is an original display and the subboard too is an original subboard. If any of these components are not good, the in-display fingerprint reader will most likely not work. So I coupled the entire phone and the phone was as good as a brand new phone. And it's been several days now, I haven't received any call to say this is not working and that is not working. Everything in the phone is working 100% and the owner is enjoying the phone. But the problem with repairs like this is that the phone will no longer be water resistant. So if you go and fix your phone in any form, as long as the phone was open, the phone will no longer be water resistant so you don't have to take it close to water else you're going to damage the phone. We fix the phone, the phone is working, right? So how much did I spend in total to get the phone fixed? I bought the display for 65,000 naira, which is around $120. I bought the flex cable for 7,000 naira, which is about $12. I bought the sub board or the charging port for 12,000 naira, which is about $20. And the network cable I bought for 3,000 naira, which is around $5. 
So in total, I spent 87,000 naira to get the phone fixed. Now, some of you might wonder, why would somebody spend such an amount of money to fix a phone that if you add another $100 inside, you can buy a used one? Well, the thing is this. Most people fix their phone not because of the phone itself, but because of the valuable information they have inside the phone. So that is why most people will go that length to make sure they get their phone fixed just because they have precious um, data and information inside the phone that they want to retrieve or they don't want to lose. So my name is Kingsley. If you like what you've watched, please don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe, alright? I'll see you again in the next video.